<laughs> Hello Jack, or Together for Peace. I'd like to thank you for posting your video. It was a real inspiration to me. You have inspired me to shave my mutton chop sideburns. However, your god has smited me by fucking up the other side. And as a result, I have to do most of my talking from this direction. I am one of those frustrated atheists. It is very frustrating. It's frustrating to know that there are people out there who have a bias against others only for what a book says. Nothing more. If that book, if your little ugh, book, that hadn't mentioned homosexuality as being a sin and, and what to do, you know, it tells you what to do. With, with homosexuals, and yet you don't do it. Why don't you go so far as to follow that? You know, why do you, why do you draw the line there? You are well aware that your book says many terrible things, but you pick and you choose, and I know you've heard this a tremendous amount of times, how you pick and you choose, and, and you probably have your little ridiculous ways of spinning that. But it, it, it's very frustrating. The, the, there's nothing wrong with homosexuals, the gay and lesbian community. In fact, they're probably doing us a favor by not being able to reproduce, uh, you know, within, they can, they can, they can fool around, N nature has its ways. But, uh, yeah, the last thing that we need right now is more children, there's way too many people in the world, way too many. Second thing that frustrates me <clears throat> is people like you. I know they don't sound good, but it's true, you're, you're very frustrating, because I like you. I almost wish that you were a complete prick, at least on video, so I wouldn't even waste my time, because that's what this is, that's what this entire conversation is, it's just a waste of time. You give the illusion of actually listening, of actually caring what people have to say that, that have a different opinion from yours, but you don't really listen, because a real willingness to listen is going to be a willingness to allow the other side to change your mind, and you're not willing to have your mind changed because for your mind to be changed your book has to be changed and, and your book isn't going to be changed it, your book has to be wrong and it's not possible for your book to be wrong now is it Jack? you then go on to talk about parenting, apparently somebody has told you that it's wrong for you to indoctrinate your nephew or uh, certain ways to, to, that we should and should not raise a child uh, how, how despite the fact that these people believe that they come from an unguided process and that these people have somehow communicated with the whatever the hell you start pretending to be funny. Uh, well, first of all, assume it was true. Assume that it, it did, they did come from an unguided process that wasn't dictated by some celestial being. Would any of this really change? Would you, would you not be having this conversation? Would it not be possible for people to have made up all this shit some time ago? Is the only way that you could have this conversation is that, that if that if the events in the Bible and other and other religious things. Well, you don't even care about other religions, do you? you care about just your own? Uh, would it not be possible that we would be having this conversation if none of that stuff actually happened? You talk about. Well, Pretty much, who the hell are we to, t to tell anybody what's what's wrong or indoctrination and things like that? Certainly, within your own religious community, you're, you're bound to have problems with the way people raise children, even if they cite the Bible as to this is why they do it. Take, for example, snake handling. The child would not have done that. That's a dangerous thing. Uh, were it not for pe these people reading a particular passage, uh, interpreting it to mean that you can handle snakes, and, and if you die from a snake bite, then, well, you were supposed to die anyway. It's either part of God's plan, or you were really a sinner you didn't fully believe, or it's a way of weeding out. This is ridiculous. This is insanity. Even you know this. Uh, forgive the even. You know this. And you know to, to teach a child this is, is wrong and stupid and dangerous. You know this. Faith healing. Oh, my Darwin faith healing. How many kids got to die as a result of, of, of faith healing? 
I, you know, I'm not even gonna go anywhere else with this. That, that's, that's enough. That's, that's enough. These are two things that are done out of faith, that are taken directly from this Bible. I wonder, would these things even exist if they were not written down in that lovely, lovely, loving book of yours? So listen together, peace. Do us both a favor. Do the whole YouTube community a favor and see where we're coming from. See what it's like to deal with a supremely religious person. One who allows their faith to blind them from the issues of reality. Uh, talk to somebody. You, you, you're bound to have the same problems with faith healing as I do, I would assume. You're, I'm, maybe I'm giving you too much credit. I, I'm pretty sure you do. Talk to somebody who honestly believes that faith healing, healing is the way to go. That believes that the, you know to, to bring their child to the doctor is really a, not showing God that you really trust his or her or its... Uh, guiding hand in life and uh, talk to somebody who believes that uh, people shouldn't have blood transplants and, and, li and liver transplants, blood transfusions. Uh, there was a, a woman, a young lady in my anatomy class, 16 years old, you gotta be pretty smart to get through high school and you're into college, like, uh, it, it, pretty impressive. This lady was in that college course with the sole intent of being on the board of, of saying who does and who does not get uh, uh, transfusions and transplants. She feels that nobody should. And she proudly stood up there and she cited her Bible. And I watched like five heads nod with like, yeah, that's, that's right, good for you. Way to let people die. You're totally preventable. Talk to people like that. See how your reason is completely battered aside and just you get you get scripture tossed in your face. Look at this, the dog's freaking out. <laughs> That's my corgi ein. Anyway, it's it's extremely frustrating. It's it's most unfortunate. And it it for me, it makes me rather despise uh, religion. Good people they they want to do what's what's good, they wanna do what's right. These good people are doing bad things, and it took religion to get them to do it.